blustery autumn morning at Castle Dinas Brown above Langothlan in North Wales. It's absolutely blowing a gale and I've been on the hillside here for about half an hour trying to find myself a composition. Uh, I think I've got one though behind me, uh, just waiting for the light to come up now and I'll get shooting. The light's not really going to happen, it's not going to come up uh, and illuminate the castle like I hoped it would. Now I've messed around with different focal lengths and it looks okay, it looks quite nice, you know, there's a bit of colour there, I've got a castle in the background, but it's just not strong enough for me to take a shot. I know if I take one, I'll be messing around in Lightroom trying to make it dramatic and it's just not going to be right. So rather than waste film, I'm going to pack up, I'm going to go for a walk further along the ridge. Well, you know what happens when you start to pack your camera away? The sky catches fire. Well, the wind's got up and it's also raining a little bit and I've, uh, I've got crows circling around me and um, maybe they sense a, a kill, which is interesting actually because the castle is also known as Crow Castle, so uh, hmm, maybe there's some link there. Anyway, I'm going to head down this little, uh, little ravine now. I know there's a stream down here, I shot here last year, and there are some stunted trees which make a very nice subject if the crows will leave me alone. And uh, yeah, I'll hope to get a composition of those if the, uh, the wind and rain drop a little bit. Now I'm just taking a little bit of a break from the wind and I'm sheltering under a very convenient tree and some rocks and I'm going to have a little bit of a think about what I want to shoot because this is the, the area I really came to take images of. It's a small area with broken down walls, rocks, stunted trees and I've tried here before and got nothing. Now I think the problem is last time and the time before that I was rushing and I was also looking for the big images. So this time I'm going to just sit down, have a coffee, have a sandwich and just take it all in and just start to absorb the area and get a feel for it. And after that I'm going to go around with my little preview device, I think I'll use the iPhone uh, XS, XS and just uh, see if I can line up some shots before I actually break the camera out because I've got a few hours so what's the point rushing? I'm sad to say that after much struggling, trying to get a composition lined up with these trees, with all sorts of dead tree trunks, branches, etc, I failed. Well, I think I failed, but then again I've not wasted any film, and I've not given myself any work later in processing these and trying to make them work, so whether I failed or not is a matter of, a matter of opinion. I'm going to press on and I'm going to get along the ledge a bit further, try and find some shelter and keep working at these small compositions because if I keep trying something will happen. Well, I hadn't planned on taking this image, the, the long shot down the, the valley towards the, uh, the distant Cluidian hills, but 
I just came across it and I thought, yes, it's a bit cliched. I've done it before, but it's absolutely beautiful. Now I've got my short telephoto lens on here and I'm shooting with both positive and negative films, Ektar and Provia 100. Now the dynamic range is probably just tilting towards being a bit bright for the slide film. So I've put a two stop graduated filter on. That's just gonna tame those sky values and it'll let me bring up the shadow detail by giving a bit more exposure. It's a very simple, straightforward image thankfully about the wind so there's not much vibration or movement with the camera and yeah very very pleasant I think. Well, I think that's me done for the day. Not the most successful outing in terms of number of images, but a good walk nonetheless. And I hope the ones I have taken turn out as well as they, they appear through the viewfinder. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you on the next trip.